I think Eponym does a good job of like balancing both social and academic aspects of the college experience. Academics are like what's important, like that's why I'm here, but I can also have that social life that I want and not miss out on like sleep or like watch my grades just slowly crash and burn. <laughs> FNM came to college fair in my high school, which was very unusual. Not a lot of colleges come to Georgia, you know, it's a small country. I remember the first thing that I saw when I came to FNM was the Barshinger cupola, which is like this blue cupola that is featured in every single FNM, you know, photo. It's such a like a hallmark of campus. And it just like felt like a very happy and unified and just kind of um, cohesive community. Day one when we moved in, everyone was so friendly. They helped like bring everything out of my parents' car and like take it up to my rooms. So, like I didn't have to lift a finger. Every house has its own culture. And when you're a freshman, like they're putting you within that culture and like trying to get you as embedded as possible, that you feel comfortable making that transition from like high school to life at FNM. Like I can't see myself not playing that. I, I very much care about my education, and the aura of academics here, the aura of you know athletic. Uh, prowess that they've had over 50 years. It was really a no-brainer. I wanted the best of academics and athletics combined, and I think FNL did that. I wanted to study dogs. I figured that out in high school. Domestication kind of hindered the way they can communicate with each other. So a dog with like really like a lot of fur over his eyes or a dog with no tail can't communicate as well as a dog with very clear features. Applying what we learn in classrooms is so useful because you can learn a ton of information, but it's always different when you try to actually do it. So I think by getting this experience now, designing experiment, that's what I want to actually study in the future too, is really, really unique and cool. Something that I think is unique to FNM that professors are willing to make those personal connections with students. You don't feel like you're being shoveled into a system. You feel like you're taking charge of learning all this information because it's your education, not like this giant education bubble that you're just thrown into. They really make effort to get to know you as a person and they want to see you succeed. Knowing that I have somebody who I can ask questions and who's gonna help me is really a good piece of support. She's a very good resource to kind of help walk me through this process of trying to learn how to do research. In high school, I really wanted to make, I thought that I wanted to major in econ. Um, so I came here with this mindset that I would major in econ and become an economist. But beauty of liberal arts education, I took so many classes here in my first years. I did take some econ classes, decided that that was not exactly what I wanted to do. Then I took some business classes, took sociology courses, and discovered my passion. So I ended up double majoring in sociology and business. I love music, first and foremost. But then I love the aspect of being social. Without the music, there's really no party. We started off just doing like small parties at like people's like apartments and then we started working for WFNM and that really got our name out there. So we became the events DJs. It's been like a great time. One, two, three, two. Hey. Zen is kind of, it's kind of like, you know, just be one with who you are, be one with the surroundings around you. So before games, I usually, you know, do like a 20 minute meditation. You know, a lot of schools will tell you you can do anything you want here, but any varsity sport does take up a lot of your time. They really did cash in on the fact that you can be an athlete, but then you could be whoever you want outside of the court. I did.
did the, uh, the six-week uh, summer program in Tuscany as a part of uh, FNM's uh, summer abroad program. And that was you know, one of, if not the best time of my life. It's just like we traveled all over, went to all these ridiculous places. I took advantage of everything because, I mean, you know, how many times do you go to college, you know? You literally can find an opportunity anywhere you go. Actually seeing myself in this international community and like realizing, hey, I'm gonna meet so many people from like so many different parts of the world and get to know them, get to understand what they think, how they are looking at the world, that was just inspiring. What I found from doing group projects with international students or engaging in discussions with them is that very often we like take our opinions for granted. We think that this is how everybody looks at the world. It's really interesting to understand how their backgrounds and like their cultures affect how they see the world. Like what we contribute, all the international students contribute to the intellectual dialogue on FNM campus is the plurality of perspectives. I think that's the beauty of like the whole having an international campus. I think FNM is great in the sense that no matter who you are, there's a place for you. And if you don't feel like there is that place where you fit in, you can create that space. But there's so many different things you can do, like sports-wise, club-wise, group-wise, that I think everyone can find um, something that they kind of identify with. FNM more than a lot of schools in the country, they give you the opportunity to do whatever you want. Again, they're not going to promise you anything, but you know, they're going to give you the opportunity to say, listen, we have almost every kind of club imaginable on campus. It's your duty to you know, get involved and you know, find people similar to you so you can excel and thrive. 